All right, so I am back, and today we're going to take a look at the Titans Return uh, Slug Slinger. So this is the third of the um, Target Master jets. Um, now that they're now they're Headmasters, but uh, so this is the third one. Um, in the original cartoon, the three came out at the same time. Um, it was Misfire, uh, Slug Slinger, and. I always have a hard trigger happy. I have a hard time with trigger happy. And they became the Decepticon target masters along with Cyclonus and Scourge. But those two had been around for a while, so they were just kind of added into the to it. So there was only really three new bots for that line uh, for that particular set, and that's these three. So here he is in his jet mode. Um, looks really good. And I wanted to also just Real quick, show him against the uh, Chug Seeker here. So you can see he's lengthwise, the Seeker's uh, a little bit bigger, but not quite as wide tip to tip, but uh, the pretty close, I'd say. Pretty close. So I would, I would say that's an acceptable size scale there. Uh, and then he does have the Target Master, or the Headmaster, sits in the canopy here. So you can pull him out, close that up, and then landing gear wise, nada. Um, you can kind of say this is these two are the molded in landing gear, but that's that's pretty much it. Uh, he does come with two guns. Uh, one is this gray one, and then he's got this kind of blue or this teal one. Yeah, so. <laughs> Kind of your call. You can plug them together if you want to. Uh, at least he does have one gun that's not too ridiculous. Actually, this one's not too bad either, to be completely honest. Although it is a Target Master gun. It's got the two pegs there. You can plug this guy in you now if you want to. But whatever. All right. Uh, Headmaster himself. Oh, he's got uh, he's got face paint too. His eyes and face is painted. Uh, nothing else on him, but uh, you know, ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders, hinge, hinge. And then he's got the painted face there. So these guys were really hard to find, and all of a sudden Walmart, <laughs> just boom, they're everywhere. Um, so to transform him, you want to, first off, you want to pull the arms out like this. Uh, the, wings, the wings tab in, that slot there plugs into that slot, that tab there. So the wings tab in there, so you want to kind of pull those out and then pull the arms out of the back of the knees here. And then pull this out. Straighten the legs. Pull out the feet. This will hinge up. Split the legs. You want to take this section here. This will fold back. And down and then you can take the wings here and just kind of fold them back out of the way double hinge the shoulders up flip out the hands and plug his head in Why this is giving me a hard time. <laughs> Still not right. There we go. <laughs> that was just weird. It just would not go in. All right. And so he does, he can hold both of his guns. So we'll plug this in. that or you can take this one plug that in and I, I prefer that gun um, posability wise is you know pretty much the same as the other two uh, head is on a ball joint so you got the left and right little up little down pretty good there swivel at the shoulder hinge here at the shoulder bicep swivel bends at the elbow wrist uh, going in and out due to transformation uh, you got 
Oh, waste a swivel. Uh, I think I missed that on uh, misfire. Uh, hips, ball joints, thigh swivels at the knee, bends at the bends at the knee, or thigh swivel, and then bends at the knee, and then the foot does have a hinge there. All right, now let's get the the three together. Uh, yes, he does have a waist swivel. these guns either. I gotta find these guys replacement guns. And there they are all together. So running down the figure real quick. Uh, obviously the heads are, are new. The wings are all new. Canopies are new. Uh, shoulder joints. Mm, okay. Torsos are all different. Uh, the actual assembly here in the joint shoulder joint uh, is the same as misfires um, so I'm sure that shoulder hinge is the same for all three um, I'm talking about the hinge that's actually here the shoulders are all different forearm or the elbows here are all the same forearms are all different um, hands, these guys' hands are the same. His are slightly different. They're just cut a little bit differently. Uh, they could have gotten away with the same waist piece on these guys, and I don't think any of us would have noticed. Uh, but it is a new waist piece as well. Uh, hips, thighs are all different. They're all, all the same. Uh, again, so it's, uh, from hips down, they're the same. That's the only thing that's really straight across the board the same. And here they are with uh, Seeker. So you can see them all together there. Again, I think this is a perfect scale. I think this is just awesome for Decepticon Jets. And there they are with Galvatron. I think it looks great. I, I love it. I absolutely love this line. Um, I'm going to give... This one, um, same, same, well, no, you know what? I'm going to give this guy a, a, a 10. I think he's actually really good. Um, it, it, his availability is a little bit more than Misfire. Um, I didn't have to, you know, you don't have to go out and buy him online. Um, Walmart's got piles of them along with Cub now. Um, he's got a better gun than Misfire and uh, Trigger Happy. Um, because I just, I just don't like these things. I, I, I just don't. Not as bad as the Titan Return guns, but still in the same ballpark. Um, ultimately, I, I think he's, uh, I think he's really good. Uh, and major, major, major shout out to, to my girlfriend, Alex, for picking this guy up for me for Christmas. So, I think it's one of the first time a girlfriend actually purchased me a transformer um, I think that would work just need to find another gun for him uh, but yeah uh, I love it I, I think these figures are great so I do recommend them so, so yeah